Eric Shep. Good morning. Yes, yes. So we're all bundled up. We had a dusting of snow last night. But we're going to uh, head down, I think, about 2,000 feet today from Eric Shep to Ding Boche. Um, should take us about five hours to get there. And uh, rest tomorrow. Um, well, for sure, tomorrow we got to go to Chukong and uh, either do Chukong Ri tomorrow or the next day in preparation for Island Peak. But it feels good for the first time to head down more than you head up. <laughs> so, see you guys on the trail. We've arrived back in Lobache and uh, we're in the sunroom. Jim's obviously it's not that warm because we don't have our clothes on getting us off getting suntans. <laughs> but we're in the sunroom. It's where we came from. There's Noopsy again. <coughs> and this is Tech. Being an amazing servant, <laughs> yeah, helping it's out tremendously. Breaking for tea. Break yeah. for tea. <laughs> Break for tea. just learned that this is uh, Russell Bryce's camp uh, for his team to acclimatize and instead of going over the Kumbu Icefall uh, back and forth because of the dangers associated with that, uh, they're acclimatizing by climbing uh, Lobuche as a part of their training program. So, no problem. And we're on our way to the Stone Memorial. We're back at the Stone Memorial, about to pass through the Tupla Pass. But again, just what an amazing view all around. In memory of all the climbers that uh, never came off of Everest. Pass where we came from the other day. Just a killer coming up. And now we're heading down to the Tupla Lodge. Okay. We're just pulling into Tupla. Grab a drink? Yeah? Oh, yeah, 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 lunch too. Yeah. Lunch, lunch, lunch. Lunch, Jim, lunch. Inside or outside, Jim? Inside? Inside the sun. Tukla had lunch there, had Sherpa stew, which was amazing. And now we're heading down to the valley floor on our way to Perishe. Tech, what's the name of this mountain over there? Solatse. and Dobuche. And Solatse is a peak that mountain climbers use to climb. Because of the, that, because of the, is a, close to 
because it's close to the Chola yes. Pass. Yes, about to enter the town of Pernache. And if you look to the left, you can see the long switchback that will take first thing in the morning to get to the top of the ridge line, which is Dingboje, which is then going to take us to Chukung, which is about uh, four hours from Pernache. Okay, we're here. Pernache, home for tonight. So we started this morning at Pere at 13,800 feet. We dropped yesterday about 3,000 feet just so that we can get ready to climb 6,000 feet again over the next four days. And today we're going to climb about 1,800 of those feet. Uh, but what's funny is that uh, at back home on Lookout Mountain it takes about 22 minutes to climb uh, from our house to Lookout Mountain, uh, which is about the equivalent of what we just did this morning from Parache uh, in 20 minutes. So I'm not saying that for any other reason, but there's so much value in uh, acclimatizing well and making good decisions at high elevation. So now we're back at the pass of Dingboje, uh, again looking at Island Peak straight ahead, um, Makalu, 
on the other side. Uh, you can't see uh, Lutzi because it's covered. And then Amadablam right in front of us. Great place to be. Now we're just trekking along the top side of Dingboje on the way to Chakung, which is in that area. Straight ahead of us, about two and a half hours from here. Amazing to see how these people make their homes out of rocks and they use flat rock shingles for their roofing. Well, Mary, I found the perfect plow and the beast of burden to do your plowing in your garden. You know, see how fast it can go and look at the ground because they till it and keep it nice. Look how soft that is. They plant a lot of potatoes up here. See all those mounds? I think that's, there's the potatoes harvested and then they put a, holes in the ground and bury them. Right? Yep. And there's some more over there. So, you know, it's just I know your heart wishes you were here, doesn't it? Love you. That uh, Makalu is behind that. Cozy. <laughs> yeah, that's the main. 
amazing thing that they burn fuel using yak dung. But it sure warms things up, doesn't it, Jim? Yep, sure does. There's Noopsy, and then Lutsi is covered in the covered in the clouds. There in the far distance in the back, that white mountain island peak will be on base camp in two days. Yeah, and right past that stupa is, uh, you can see in the background, Chikung. We're sitting here a half an hour from Chikung, having a cup of hot lemon and staring at and just blown away by the immensity of it. I was telling Jim, you can almost just scramble up that chute right there to the saddle of that first black rock. Kind of like just free climb it. But then from then on, you're pretty much hard luck unless you got tons of support and technical gear. And I don't even know if you can do it from this side. I mean, maybe someone has. Crazy. Right, Jim? Crazy. <laughs> In a desolate, desolate place. Designed just for crazy people that want to come here and trek and climb. Tech witches, Chukungri. This one, on top here. Awesome, tomorrow morning. We are, tomorrow morning, awesome. We are climatized doing Chukukri. Uh, which will take everything out of us, but we need it to be able to do Island Peak. For now, off to lunch. Right? Yep, that's it. We woke up this morning to do our climatization uh, training and uh, rope training for Island Peak. And uh, we're in Chukung right now. And this is what we woke up to. About a foot of snow, it's a complete whiteout. Uh, we had three more days to stay here to uh, uh, get ready for Island Peak, but uh, there's nothing inside that says that this thing's going to stop. Uh, so we've just made an executive decision to get down as soon as possible since we're still 16,000 feet up and uh, it's going to be slow going and uh, we'll keep you guys in touch as we head back to
Okay, we got into Ding Bojé, had breakfast, and now, as you guys can still see, you can't see very far at all. Everything is covered. Everything's covered. Yesterday, nothing. Today, look at this. And, uh, we're on our way to Ding Bojé. For the night. I was just telling Jim how it literally went from spring to winter in a matter of less than 24 hours. I've never seen anything like this. Other conditions are getting to everybody. We got a little bit of stoppage on the side of the road. Just leaving Somare where we had lunch and uh, yep still snowing ever since last night so I think we're very happy don't do that <laughs> I think we're very happy that we made the decision to get off the mountain and start heading down uh, so now the only hope and goal is that by the time we get to Lukla it will be clear enough for us to be able to jump on a plane and get back to Kathmandu